It's nice to have you with me. The first thing I'm going to say is thank you. And I want all of you to say, I am today's woman. I am today's woman. Yeah. We all went to India, right? Yeah. We are not all here, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are not here with us. But the truth is, the camaraderie that we experienced, right, was so strong yeah. that we yeah. thought that wealth cannot end in India. Yeah. Our official photographer. It was it by accident or it was just the spirit that was leading you? Because all through our trips, you know, Somi was the one taking all the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I love pictures a lot. <laughs> Is it because you're beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> we kept busy, I love you. <laughs> the first time you met each other, everybody, right? Did anything change your expectation and what you saw? Honestly, it was a turning point, you know? Meeting wonderful sisters, uh, honestly, I'm blessed. Uh, As a turning point, her husband sent her. Did anybody else's husband support them in this match? Yes, sir. First of all, Sisimi, we all call you Sisimi. Yeah. I call you a pair farms uh, and Sisimi, but your name is not Sisimi. Your name is not a pair farms. I'm only Shola anymore. I have to remind myself. So Sisimi came from my husband. Yeah. So does your husband did pretend that name, Sisimi? <laughs> I mean, as a lawyer, maybe I should give him that idea. Yeah. No, nothing should know with the sun. Oh, actually, I mean, my family is Noxy Limited. Everybody calls me Noxy. Am I a brand? I'm a brand. Yes, right. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, what happened to you in India? What was it like meeting in women? India was beautiful, meeting powerful women. Yeah. Let me see here. Yeah. Getting to India was like, woo hoo! It was all worth it. Um, it was also nice to meet beautiful. Adopted sisters. So one of the first food I got on the boat, apart from Noxy, was rain oil. You know, and our co founder, executive director, had <laughs> She's right here. No, but why did you key into the idea so quickly? Um, because it's about women. And um, I know that when you do anything for a woman, it goes so much more farther than whatever you do for a woman. I mean, I think it's like a DNA of a woman to just multiply yes. anything. Your story is pretty interesting because you, when you're one of those that traveled, how many, you know, you flew to another town to go and look at something. I'm supposed to change my mind, but um, the other that doesn't wait for equipment, okay. and I got contact for. Manufacturers, yes, um, that would give me raw materials in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I'm already talking to them, and I think by October I should start importing. Wow. wow! So it wasn't wasted. African things. Simply African. Simply African. Yes. So what was simply African in India? In Why did you go? To expand my network, to see what was out there, see what else I could do, you know, so I have to grow my business. So for me, it was for many reasons. Fantastic, De La B. No, oh, sorry, 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 Diola. Yeah. <laughs> but Diola means it's your brand. Yes. yes. In fact, Noxy yes. calls you DK. It was exciting for me to do stuff without getting business involved. So I was free to explore and also mm -hmm. experience the city. When you see Uju, you think modeling. Am I, am I right or right? Yeah. <laughs> you, had, you, had, you had no choice. You could you either right. take right or you take right. 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 Uh -uh. Yeah. Okay, so and you're not a model. Very far from it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was it difficult to convince you to go? Definitely not. I, India is somewhere where it's like the headquarters of IT 
and we do a lot of work with um, some Indian companies, some coming into Nigeria and some who want to work with us as you know like we could also some of our work to them. Mm -hmm. So like in terms of social media marketing and things like that, they have a lot of small businesses there. So it was very It was uh, worth it for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Personally I've taken away the fact that you have to dream big. Don't be scared to dream big. I mean, that's me being, being in business forever and I've opened a lot of things I've started, but I just said, come on, if some young woman, she's about 42, the person that started WEF, could have been able to bring together so many women from all over the world, why not me? So it's daring. That's the personal takeaway for me. Can I take your personal takeaway? Going to India or something like meeting other women and uh, that fear in me. <laughs> I'm saying it's gone. <laughs> that makes me so happy. I feel like if I've done nothing else, that is no so so yeah. me. No so, so me. me. No <laughs> so me. No so me. No so me. No so me. Now I feel like I can take the world. You see me? There was a lot to take away, but one thing that resonated with me was a dream I've always had to help the women folk around my farm communities. So as soon as I got always farm, 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 yeah, farm. <laughs> so I immediately registered She Grows. So with She Grows, the idea is now to organize them to come to the farm, see what we do, because I'm sure they just look at me like one cranky woman, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. And if the only thing I can do is get them to grow food properly, then we're helping many more Nigerians that they themselves know. So that's, she grows is the new thing that's yes, coming yes. from this trip. Would you? So what's the new thing? No, the new thing is to realize that there's more that unites us than divides us. Better. Absolutely. The power of storytelling. Say your story, share your story. You never know who you're lifting. Okay, Sammy. No, I know, I mean, even, even without being told, I can tell you very clearly, one of the things Sammy has taken away. Right? Because I'm now one of her clients. Ooh. Hello! She's next, she's next. If you see what I mean, I mean, it's fantastic. When, when I do open house, you guys will come and see. So tell me, what did you take away? Well, initially I went there as um, an adventurer and I also wanted. <laughs> Clearly, she was happy everywhere. <laughs> She went down the streets of India. She had food on the street. She yeah. told me. I tried everything. Jeez. I did. I took ice cream on the street. I went on. Even we found some Indian that was carrying you around. I will report to your husband. I met a guy. <laughs> <laughs> but I did have fun. And it was inspiring. I also gained strength. Because I was um, at the point where I was in between should I resign? Should I not resign? Just true. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wasn't getting fulfilled anymore where I was and I wanted something different. Mm -hmm. But by the time I saw ladies, women, powerful women, even from the evening that we had, I was like, ah, I can't do <laughs> That was dinner after the yeah, Nigerian dinner. I can't do this. And you know, after I heard the stories of everyone, I was like, you know, I, I The can't little I can do. do. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm already I'm putting something together. It was a life change. And it started with, you know, at least taking the courage to exactly. join this group to India. And then show my baby. You know, for me, I had just resigned. <laughs> uh, I had just resigned, and and you uh, pack money together <laughs> to go in India. I was at a place where I needed to decide, okay, what I wanted to do next. Okay, um, it was time for me. I felt it was time for me to step into deeper waters. It was time for me to start doing my own thing as well. Mm. And you know how you look at the things that you have done, you know, or you are, and you think, oh, it's still very small. Yeah. I still need to achieve a lot more to be a voice. But what I now realized in India was that, or is that um, your your story is valid. Mm -hmm. Your experience is a lesson someone needs yeah. Mm -hmm. to inspire, to learn from. Mm -hmm. And so I left there with a big vision. I left there with a big dream. Right now I'm working on my own movie. <laughs> and, and something happened. I met the representative of PR from in India. And they were like, okay, they will get in touch, blah, blah, blah. We had a meeting and all that. They got back to me, I think last week, wow. with a contract. Wow. So okay, we want you to represent us in Nigeria. We want to be, you to be our Nigerian. Yes. yes. So by the time that is sealed, I will open that to the house. Well done. Wow. So well. Back to you. Yeah. 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 
it, it opened up a lot of opportunities. I was thinking I was great, dreaming too big for myself. But now I know that I have not even started at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting because for you it was business and then it was family, yes. sisterhood, clearly. Yes. Right. Okay. So for me, it was just my love of travel. <laughs> <laughs> like me. <laughs> I love to travel and I love to explore. So it was like, okay. Kukuma, where, where else? India? Here you go. India, here I go. And the stories, I realized that human stories are the same. Mm. Experiences are very similar. And I saw myself in England again. Mm. And I had things about myself. Somebody else was telling my story. Mm. I thought, wow. Who is that? Yes. Mm. So for me, my book. Fantastic! Fantastic! And then, because I've always wanted to write it. So it's in the now works. I know I must try it For me, it was it was also such an honor to go out there and tell my story. The other thing I saw was how educated mm. women, yeah. mm. uh, how far gone in tech, PhD. how much they're doing for themselves. Yes. And I said to myself, hey Nancy, you think you've got it all? Back to school. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I got back into school, I got into Saeed um, Business School, University of Oxford. Wow. Took on a course. Finished that, thought that wasn't enough, went and looked at it, getting in touch with, um, you know, closer to things that concern women and the uh, way to help my community. I enrolled with them, Goldman Sachs, 10,000 women. What out of that? Not stopping, you know. Since April. <laughs> You've been busy, girl. So, somebody said to me, somebody said, not in your old age, your brain is firing. I said, yes, sir. When you see a good thing, you key into it. You never stop living. You never stop learning. Yes, Mama Rain. Mama Rain. Yes, so. <laughs> God Ray Rain. There's a rhyme, isn't there? Anyway, so tell me about it. What did you take away? So going to India, I just wanted to just go and see India because. Uh, my husband has been very easy talking about his <laughs> So, it was actually for the adventure. I was able to claim my space. <laughs> claim my space and understand that I actually have earned the right yeah. to stay in that space. Yeah. And that space is. is co founder. <laughs> my guru mm -hmm. yeah. is directly connected to the business So I went to India, we were doing a kitchen business and we came back with a bigger vision. And in my mind, if that happened to me, and that same experience could be replicated with other people, it could happen to them as well. So even going to India, hearing other women's stories that are bigger than yours, that are sort of broader than yours, all of those things can expand your vision and you can grow into that expansion. Thank you, ladies. For those of us who have been standing, <laughs> But those of all who are me, I think I'm going to start from there. You know, right now, we want the theme for the magazine is Women United, right? So Women United, we're just going to look through one word that comes into our minds when we say Women United. So, Women United. Collaboration. Innovation. Together we can change the world. <laughs> Generational blessings. One woman to another. Solidarity. Possibility. Bold and beautiful. <laughs> World domination. Freestyle, <laughs> open doors and growth. Opportunities and growth. Women united, indivisible, powerful, able to change the world. Woo!